Speculation time! What's up guys? GH here and welcome back to another Tree of Savior video. And for this one, we're gonna look at future weapons, more specifically, the ones they called Vibora weapons. We're gonna look at the description and speculate on what it could be used for. All credits go to Krivox and ktest.net.tv. And please keep in mind that these are future weapons that will be released in the future. Quite possibly in 2 to 3 months or more. So with that said, let's do this. Okay, the first weapon we're gonna speculate on is the Vibora one-handed sword. Looks like a lollipop sword. <laughs> Anyways, the description says it will give 135 strength, accuracy 480. Wait, what? 480? Hmm, that could be a mistake. That seems a lot. Anyway, it also provides 30% chance to gain 50% additional damage when attacking. Huh. That could be huge if it will work with daggers and pistols. I hope it will, but I think it's only gonna work with one-handed sword damage. It could also be good for Blossom Bladers and Hakapels, so that's good. The next weapon is the Vibora two-handed sword. The description says it will give 215 strength, 735 crit rate, wait. What? Again, that seems a lot. What the hell? If future weapons are this good, be prepared to grind for silver because most probably you're gonna replace your I-Cores. Okay, the next stat it will give is 172 crit damage. Oh. This weapon seems to be very good. Double Solner guys will be very happy. And then, uh, Blossom Slash kill level plus 2, reduce Blossom Slash cooldown by 10 seconds, Blossom Slash now damage up to 4 nearby targets. Okay, so this weapon is for Blossom Doppel Barbarian, no doubt about it. Next weapon is Vibora Rapier. Oh man, Rapiers. I haven't checked out Fencers for a while, I hope it's better now. Anyway, the weapon gives plus 133 to strength. The dex is 140. Wow. That's just one handed weapon. Uh, black penetration plus 490. Fencer skill level plus 1. Reduces the cooldown of Sep Ito is by 5 seconds. Reduces the cooldown of Fletch by 10 seconds. Okay, so it's a Fencer weapon. I hope that class won't get forgotten so that this weapon will be used. The next weapon is the Vibora One-Handed Spear. It gives 145 to strength, critical attack 1375, attack against leather armor targets 980, Retiaria skill levels plus 1, and upon using the first overheat of Trident Finish, it inflicts level 7 throw rated debuff on your target. Oh, okay, it's a Retiarius weapon. This could be a game changer for the Retiarius class because the effect right there is literally another throw rated debuff which increases one handed spear damage so that's good the next weapon is the Vibora two handed spear it gives 222 to strength crit rate 740 now <laughs> again plus 740 to crit rate ah uh, this is gonna be real good if that's correct but I think it's just plus 74 Anyway, I could be wrong. I think it's correct. 740. But you know, <laughs> that's too good. Anyway, the next effect it gives is attack against large size targets. 1450. Dragoon skill levels plus 1. Deal 20% more damage to large and extra large enemies while wearing a dragoon helmet. Debuff large enemies when you hit them with the throne. Causing them to deal 50%, 15% less damage for 5 seconds. 
Okay, so it's a dragoon weapon. Good to know. <laughs> the dragoon class is getting some love. The next weapon is the Bivora Staff. It gives plus 200 to int. Creep trait plus 530. Again, that's a lot. Block penetration plus 440. Sandblast skill level plus 3. Upon critically striking with Sandblast, instantly cast Stone Shower with the same skill level you currently have learned. Okay, so it's a Terramancer staff. No comment, it's still not in game. I don't know. <laughs> Next weapon is the Bivora Rod. It gives plus 133 to int, plus 148 to SPR, crit rate 488, increases your damage for each skill level in quick cast, 3% per skill level. Oh. Time forward applies to two more skills on the enemy. Okay, it's a Chronomancer weapon, and quick cast can go up to level 10. So that's 30% damage increase. Pretty interesting. Hmm. It's pretty sad. Because Chronomancer right now is... Shite. Next up is the Vibora Musket. Oh boy. Musket is gonna get buffed again, people. <laughs> people are gonna complain in PvP. Okay. The weapon gives plus 198 to strength. Maximum attack. 1025 block penetration 744 snipe skill level plus one <laughs> uh -oh. increased damage of snipe based on the difference between your block penetration and the opponent's block what one percent increase per 10 stat difference up to 100 percent increased damage uh, uh oh it looks like if you have low block or has no shield Musketeer is gonna wreck you. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Coming up next is the Bibora Cannon. The benefit you get from it is AoE attack ratio plus 3, strength plus 223, minimum attack plus 1780, cannon shot skill level plus 3, explosion skill level plus 3, for 3 seconds after using the following skills, you take 30% less damage. Okay. For 30% after using the following skills, you have knockback and knockdown immunity. Skills, cannon barrage, cannon blast, explosion. Oh. So this cannon is for cannoneer and matros. It's not particularly for DPS, but it's kind of useful for KD immunity. The next weapon is my favorite weapon, the Vibora Pistol. It gives AoE attack ratio plus 2, Dex plus 146, and crit rate 495. Uh oh. <laughs> RIP skill level plus 3, RIP overheat plus 1, so that means plus 1 more skill use for RIP. Then applies freeze bullet to RIP. <laughs> Overheat is only returned to you after the skill enters full cooldown. And the skill enters cooldown upon unequipping the weapon. Okay, so a bullet marker RIP pistol. The question is Is this better than a CEO pistol? My quick answer would be yes, just because of the plus 495 crit rate. The next weapon is the Vibora Dagger. It gives 148 to Dex, Evasion 475, Accuracy 430, Luka Skill Level plus 3, Luka inflicts 4 stacks of Kelitihan with potency equal to its current skill level. I think this is a ranked weapon, so no comment. The next weapon, no, I mean the next item or armor is the Vibora Shield. It gives 119 to con. Ooh, that's nice. Critical resistance 495. Block 495. Final block rate plus 2%. Reduces damage taken from magic and missile attacks by 10%. Reduces damage taken from insect and demon type enemies by 10%. Okay, a tanker shield. And yes, most probably healers will wear this too. This is gonna be nice. 
The next would be the Vibora Maze. It gives SPR 148, SP 990, SP Recovery 490, Mass Heal skill level plus 1. When using Mass Heal, its cooldown is reduced by 1 second for each current stack of Heal Overload. Ha! Huh. And all stacks are removed. Okay, that's interesting. I don't really use healers that much. But I do have an idea. But I think we need to see this in action first. Anyway, next weapon is the Bybora 200 Mace. I'm interested in this one. Because I'm building a cleric at the moment. Let's see what it gives. Strength plus 221. Int plus 221. Con plus 175. The stat seems really generous. Crusader skill levels plus 1. Reduces the cooldown of Holy Smash by 5 seconds. Reduces the cooldown of Condemn by 10 seconds. Oh, okay. It's a Crusader weapon, so no comment. We need to wait for the class to come first. Second to the last weapon is the Vibora Crossbow. It gives 135 to Dex. And crit rate 480. Attack against medium sized targets 990. Guided shot skill level plus 2. And then it inflicts a debuff for 5 seconds after hitting with guided shot. Giving a 20% chance to fire 2 guided arrows when using Arbalester skills against those targets. Okay, it's an Arbalester weapon so no comment. But I have a feeling this weapon would be a hit. <laughs> Last weapon we got is the Vibora Bow. It gives AOE attack ratio plus 3, Dex plus 218, Crit Rate plus 730. Wow, that's a nice Crit Rate addition. Barb skill level plus 3, Bodkin Point skill level plus 3. Barb Arrow now ignores the target's armor type and always hits 5 times. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so it's a Fletcher weapon. This could be really good because right now, Barb Arrow is kind of a meh. <laughs> but if it will hit 5 times always, this would increase Barb Arrow's viability. But the question is, how long till we get these weapons? My guess would be 3 to 4 months. I don't know, how about you guys? When do you think we're gonna get these weapons? Are you excited for this? Or is this annoying to you? Cause your favorite class is ignored. Tell us in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Andre of Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.